All right, let's get back to it. Why play around? I mean, no kidding. Uh, to be honest, it smells like fresh cut grass in the uh, you know in the air. I got a, a, a dryer full of buckles and chains that I'm drying for work tomorrow. And uh, just like this album cover, I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I think we rolled a couple circus clowns, you know, from the local carnival. But yeah, they got drunk and wild. Sometimes you just can't play around. This has been a good album, and we're starting the day with this because over here at Reactions, Rants, and Rabbit Holes every now and then, uh, the band members and, and people from the bands, they say stuff. It's awesome. And I don't, you know, I don't really chase after any of that. So, I'm appreciative of uh, just acknowledging, you know, you made a kick-ass album. I don't, I don't know, but this is a good record. And uh, it should get a lot more love than it does. Uh, I am just been uh, happy as hell checking it out again and uh, uh, playing it in the background of my real life when I'm not here pushed record. So it's been cool. Let's go. Merritt's girlfriend, I believe. Short, creepy. I'm guessing I'm not gonna want to hook up with Merritt's girlfriend. That's better. what it is it's just it's just a damn solid thrash offering right i mean uh, it's, that's it i you know i'm scrolling through my feed on wherever i you know read crap and everyone's like this is my favorite this is my favorite and it's like i don't know i don't know if i need a favorite what i need is 
a nonstop playlist of solid thrash offerings that, you know. <clears throat> I just, okay, <clears throat> some heavy metal, but honestly, I just, for my personal, you know, psychosis, uh, thrash is where it's at. It just, it definitely gets the juices pumping. Uh, yeah, it was. Man, it is the one the the one genre of music and and it's offshoots, you know, from you know, most of the shit on the channel. I just God, it works. So, uh just in case I did get that right and one of the band members stopped by the channel and said, Hey, I'm one of the band members. I think it was a bass player. Uh but you know, I I steer clear of the comments right now just because, yeah, it's a responsibility. Barely functioning as a real human being, let alone, a, you know, rolling green at Reactions, Rants, and Rabbit Holes. Welcome back. Let's keep going with why play around. This is, uh, ba 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 Sudden Death. So low. an ending that kind of keeps going on is creative i mean that i mean that just because it's yeah i know i definitely have an opinion on the fade yeah you know sometimes it can be overused overworked mm, over exaggerated uh i just fire fire nothing but respect love you know consumption here uh, i just got more more uh, we're doing one more i don't care let's go it's the title track wargasm from wargasm the album why play around i mean why play around when the psycho circus clowns come to town get your people together and go take care of it the fuck pennywise unless it's the Canada, you know the band but the psycho Stephen King clown. Yeah, F that dude. Stand up. Say no to psycho psycho clown violence. Good ending though. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Let's go. Orgasm. See? Fucking clown.
Oh yeah. Because I had this one way back in the day when it came out. <clears throat> this was a product of the people I knew who owned the record store. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a, the first reaction. I probably had the album on my, in my hands. And, you know, not to, not to piss off any of the band members, but I mean, it was a not for sale promotional copy that they probably sold me. Because, you know, I'm not saying it was an ethical record store. It was a record store. It was like a head shop before the glory days of uh, decriminalization took place. So it was, you know, a questionable environment to say the least. But good record selection. What's my point? What's, what's my point? Oh, shit, that goes back a ways. That's straight out of high school. And uh, yeah, nuclear annihilation. 2023, I can literally still have a conversation about nuclear annihilation. What a blessing. What a blessing that all has been. Hey, did you go see Oppenheimer? What a deal. I bet that was a winner. Now, actually, Nolan's a hell of a director, and I'm sure the movie is awesome. But, once again, hiding under something will not matter. You might as well go and face that mushroom cloud with your eyes smiling and your junk in your hand. Well, well, if you are the target, it won't really matter. No, you won't know. You'll be there one minute. Now, outside the target area, it's another depressing story. You, you want to, uh, what is it? Uh, graveyard of the Fireflies? You want to you wanna, you wanna have your, your heart ripped from you? I think that's the name. Isn't that, I think that's it. It's an anime. Ooh, that'll put you in touch with some emotions you didn't know you had. Yeah, I kind of went somewhere there for a minute because now I think about it and what a, I could only, only hope if, if this stands the test of time, channel doesn't get, you know, taken down for, uh, you know, speech issues, but maybe one person will actually watch. I'm pretty sure it's uh, a grave of, of the fireflies and uh, my only hope would be that you could, I mean, I, this is actually, this would explain a lot because the aggressive, thrashy, I want to be in the pit uh, music with the, <clears throat> let's be blunt, uh, I would hope thought-provoking lyrical content plus the inability to not be put off by, let's say, 
ideas outside of the mainstream box. So, you know, I can like thrash an anime, somehow open all that you get to and have all of that in you at once when you're because you did have to see it. I mean, that's the other side of the spectrum, right? The uh, the horrific aftermath of the well, horrible games the world leaders hell bent on uh, having wargasms uh, you play. You know, this is all, all crazy. I, you know, it's maybe possibly more thought provoking than just, you know, a thrash tune, and I think that's why I like it. I go over to pop music, I don't find that substance anywhere, and the uh, substance I do find half the time is, um, <clears throat> you know, not, uh, let's say, aware of anything it's more like aware of its own self desire desires and fleshly needs yeah i mean that's it you do you but uh i'd rather uh i kind of like the bigger picture and a thrashy fucking beat to put it to So I don't care what band does that breakdown, and I'm sure it's the same for other people, other genres, and other shit they enjoy. There's the subjective nature of it all. But that kind of breakdown, just that moment, that's the fire shit for this guy. Just come on, wow, and then explode, fuck yeah! Ah, I had a personal moment because you, you can't see inside my head, but uh, no, it's, it's not a drill. I have a, a one horrible thing coming up on my agenda, and uh, uh, it's, it's breaking my heart. And, uh, oh, yeah, no. But you can't play around. Sometimes you got to get stuff done that's even uncomfortable. Uh, maybe not all out nuclear war. Uh, maybe we could do better than that. I'm hoping, but you know, from the end of high school till 50 plus years old, uh, and you know, 
for you know a generation before that not not no such thing just constant shadow what a what a joy what a joy that is all wrought Here's my example. I miss Robert. Uh, we, you know, we don't like the old days. Uh, not a big Kiss fan, Robert, there. And it's like this. This album I ain't heard for years, but I can still get something of it. If I put in, like, let's say, uh, whatever album Lick It Up is on, and then hear the song Lick It Up, it's going to have the same incredibly non-productive messaging it had the first time I heard it. I'm like, oh, that's witty. Do you like sex much? Oh, good. That, yeah. Lick it up. Yep. No, I don't get it. It's really deep. Whores with big hair. Oh, okay. No. No, I was confused. See, it is going to have that same appeal its entire lifespan. I like stuff that's not like that this is not like that at all Not the, not not the war part, but the vocals. I was just reading there, as you saw, and I, you know, and and honestly, everything in the comments is straight fact. I mean, it's just it's a great offering. This is a hell of an album, and yeah, no, I know, I know, it don't mean nothing, but the. The merit isn't in the dude's girlfriend. It's in the quality of the lyrical content that actually stands the test of time to this moment for sure. Um, where other uh, offerings from 1988 were hollow, benign, and worthless. And even though they get much more attention, they, didn't, they don't create a conversation that we could use. It's another fucking conversation to distract us. And, uh, you know, we deserve better.
Hey, why play around? Fuck it. Listen to Wargasm. The title track here, Wargasm. Pretty cool. Uh, you know, watch this and Dr. Strangelove. You know, listen to this, then watch Dr. Strangelove and, you know, have some thoughts. Okay, to be fair, this is an epic track on top of everything else. Damn, I think there's like another minute and a half. Wow! Wait a minute. <coughs> Holy shit, excuse me. That was kicking my ass. I thought I was going to have to be fucking uh, over the top. And that is like, hey, we're going to fade out for a minute 20, but then we're going to put like five different types of endings in there. <coughs> you got me there. I actually can't even complain about that. That was cool. And the Prometheus is sitting like a beast. Uh, why play around? I, I hope I don't. You know, I mean, if I'm here, we're all in. So uh, this is just a warm-up. Why play around? Full album, 1988. I graduated 87, so there you go. A year after I got out of high school. It's pretty effing good. Wargasm, hell of a band, hell of an album. And this is just a start to the day. So uh, we've got, you know, all the, 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 the you know, every, million years wow, wow. ASAP, next. Let's just say that later. <laughs> 